Good afternoon and welcome to Capitan Morgan's War Games. Today's video will be about the Thousand Sons I'm taking against Nick's uh, uh, Nick on call list. Uh, so, quick tactical video about how I'm going to play it and, and stuff. Um, maybe tactics I'm going to employ during game. Uh, But before we get into that, please, if you like my content, hit the like, share, subscribe button, hit the bell button to stay up to date with all my content, and uh, please comment. I love talking to you guys, interacting, and uh, that. So without further ado, let's get straight into this. Uh, as I say, I'm taking uh, a thousand suns this. So I've, I've got three detachments here. Uh, this, Normally, I would go into about how I'd tailor this to the missions that we're playing, but to be honest, this list is about what I have to use and what I've got. So, first up is Magnus. He's in the uh, Supreme Commander detachment, and I do have a list of uh, stuff I've taken from Magnus. Doombolt, Twist of Fate, Desecration of Worlds for Magnus. Uh, then we go into a battalion detachment headed by Araman. Then I've got a Demon Prince and he's got He has got a Warlord trait. And what did I choose for him? I can't remember off the top of my head. I've gone for Cottle Magic as well because that's Seeker of sh After sh Shadows on this one. He's got the uh, Umbrific Crystal. And then, of course, I've got uh, Rubric Marines. Sagnals, Decimators. Three of them in there. And then I've got a patrol detachment, which has got an infernal mastery. And I've then got the other demon prince, and he's going to have the uh, helm of the demon's eye because. I like the conniving plate, but I just don't think I've got enough in there. And he's also got Ether Stride. Uh, and the psychic powers for Alman are oh, we with fakes, desecration worlds, presage. I'm oh, sorry, the first seal has Seeker of Aftershadows and conniving plate. And he's got Doombolt Rammers and it's Cecil as Ether Stride on both a crystal. 
he has uh, chemical man manipulation and condemning plus the infernal master has a glimpse of eternity below the maelstrom as these two power uh, packs and then it's just for the firestorm as he's a power the, the the aspiring sources on the sang on the uh Rubric Marines have one has the Encadium and Temple Surge, one has uh, a Corsicator and Empiric Guidance, the third one has Gaze of Hate. And then to round off uh, the uh, patrol, I've got a Rubric Marines unit and Uh, some Zangor, uh, no, no, just a rubric of marines, of course, in that one. So that's it, that's what I'm taping. I'm planning to write all this up in a uh, cheat sheet so that I know what I'm doing, but I'd like to talk a little bit about this uh i mean relics i like eggleheim's or against another uh army and if i was doing a tournament list with it that would probably be my first relic down and the unmagrific crystal probably probably because of the Thing. Uh, conniving plate, brilliant. One of them would get it automatically. So there were three relics, and then if I can get anything else in there through the other uh, but I don't to go onto a stretch. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 strats that are decent in there that I, I counted. I'm waving phalanx, wrath of a wronged, fern of fusillade, inhuman savagery, malignant pet, walk re regeneration, biochemical mutation, metaphysical mutation, psychic dominion, masters of imitated deuterium, sorceress might. Schemes of change, risen rubricite, implacable guards, roadway infiltration, inescapable forewarning, selfless automata, zone vertical, and malefic scroll. All brilliant. Um, I've, uh, and only three of them are, are two command points, uh, so that's not too bad. I'm down to about. Uh, Two com I'm down to two command points in this because I've used quite a lot in making the list, but that's fine. Uh, I did think about having the uh, Dragon Helm in there, but that's uh, to, to regenerate uh, command points on the next turn, but to be honest, that's I'm not too worried about that. I have an idea of what I want to use my command points on. I'll start turn one with three. I don't plan to use any in my first turn. So that's why I've got the Infernal Pack to re-roll one dice roll, uh, just in case. Uh, normally I'm very consistent with my dice roll, as you know. My issue with this list is I've never played it. Oh, I know what the majority of do but I haven't put it down on the board. Uh, we're playing the new priority targets but the new version of it so same match uh, slightly different way of playing it where your opponent gets to pick the target it's four points for a Probably pick three points for an objective you control. 
to a maximum of 12 uh, and then three points if you uh, hold your, your priority objective of course that, that one will be nominated by your, your opponent so there's an added tactic there uh, with this list because it, of what it is and what there is in there and it's not particularly many models or, or stronger than what Nick's playing the plan is just to hide and chip away and then uh, I will be taking uh, the mutated landscapes that's an easy secondary for me uh, and dependent on the movement of the objective markers I have a plan there uh, To be honest, I'm going to. Uh, I'm hoping to pull the two. I'm hoping to pull a couple of the the two two outlying uh, objective markers closer towards me and uh, and the centre objective that will make maybe a stranglehold and raise the banners a bit more optional it'll, it'll force Nick to come into the centre and then I can sort of trade there with him uh, with, with the amount of shots and bits but I want to draw him out and thin him down before engaging uh, my issue, of course, is if I go second, I reckon Magnus will go up, get off the ball turn one, but that's that's a uh, just one of those things. Uh, the other way of doing it is putting Magnus right far out of reach and hope he can't do it, but it will depend on where how he sets up. Nick normally sets up and castles up. I mean, if it will be what I, pretty much what I'm doing, but I'm going to going to change. There's going to be a slight change to how that's. I've got a few plans as well or to uh, to maybe hopefully get some uh, secondaries out of it. It's it's a tough one because again it's sort of hammer and anvil but not quite. And, and you could turn it into Dawn of the Wall, you could turn it into Hammer and Anvil. Hammer and Anvil will suit me more because Nick's slow, slow moving. So I am going to want to turn the game into more into Dawn of the Wall than it is currently. And I'm going to want to encourage Nick to come to me and not sit back because he, uh, he has he has shooting that I can't deal with in this game, uh, in this matchup. And having said all that, if Nick plays it right, he wins. I just don't have the model count or to deal with him even even with all the, all the more wound output I can put out uh, and all the damage I can put out I just don't think because of the uh, the animation and the high wound count of the models he's got 
it will be very hard for me to outscore him. But what I'm hoping for is to draw him into the centre of the board and make it a little war of attrition, which I uh, and just do trading. And I think I can win on the trade off just because I can get a lot of mortal wounds in. I can then get, I can take away the involve from the race. I can make them vulnerable to the normal attacks. And that's that's where I win win the game, but I I can't afford to to sit back. If if I'm doing this right, I've got forty five on primary. I can score. Uh, three six nine, possibly twelve on. Uh, thing on Malefic the now my secondaries are gonna be I could do retrieve not terrorist data which I probably would do uh that's an eight point there's twenty points there and then I need ten points and I'll probably go no prisoners so that's about thirty points so there's seventy five I'm on about eighty five points minimum and then twelve points if I another four points so but eight eight nine points maximum so I think and I think it could be it could be, if I play it right if I get it right be a tight game and if I if it goes my way I think an 85 to 83 win for me. If if I don't get it right, it will be a whitewash to Nick. It will be a 20, 20 point, 20 to 15 point win for Nick. Hope you enjoyed. Remember, thank you for watching. If you have been have enjoyed, please hit the like button. Press the subscribe button and hit the bell button to stay up to date with all my content. Also feel free to share anything you've enjoyed. Remember, everybody knows the dice are loaded.